morning everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! If you have watched the comedy show Mr. Bean, you have probably seen a kid with his hair standing like this. This is caused by the Van de Graaff generator. It provides static charge which produces a hair rising experience. What is responsible for this static charge? Of course, these are charges. All of us are made up of charges. The human body is consists of atoms containing both positive and negative charges held together by attractive forces. First, let's define a charge. It is a basic property of matter carried by some elementary particles that govern how the particles are affected by an electric or magnetic field. In other words, a charge is a property of certain subatomic or elementary particles that determines their electromagnetic interaction. It is this charge which is responsible for static electricity. Anong ibig sabihin ng static electricity? It means the electric charges are at rest. We have three types of subatomic particles exhibiting different charges. Merong protons, neutrons, and electrons. Let's start with protons. charges. It states that like charges repel and unlike charges attract. There will be attraction between a positively charged particle and the negatively charged particle. On the other hand, the charges will repel or move far away from each other when the charges are both positive or both negative. Here's a better illustration. If there are two charges with negative signs 
a repulsion will be observed. These particles will be moving away from each other. In the same way, particles which both have a positive charge will be repelled from each other. They will also be moving away. In case of neutral particles, the particles just stay in place. Kapag meron namang positive at negative particles, an attraction will be observed or they will move closer to each other. Before we end this short Shansh Amazing episode, let's have a quick recap of the things we have discussed. In this Shansh Amazing episode, we discussed about the types of charges. We defined a charge, the types of charges, which are positive, negative, and neutral, the types of charges in subatomic particles, which are protons, neutrons, and electrons, and we were introduced to the law of charges that states that like particles repel and unlike particles attract. That ends our Shensh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!